Hey guys, my name is Espen Oxholm. In this tutorial I want to show you how we can use the geometry editor that comes with Keyshot 6 to split a model into two separate pieces that you can give two separate materials, even if you didn't color them in two different materials within your CAD software. For the tutorial I'm going to use this gaming device model that you can grab for yourself at my Gumroad page, which is gumroad.com slash aspenoxharm. And along with the model as a step file, you will get the Keyshot KSP file that I used to create this rendering, and uh, a Photoshop PSD with all the layered post-processing that I did to create this image as well. So that's a lot of stuff to dig into if you're interested. So check it out. I'm going to have a look at this uh, analog stick on the gaming device and I want to be able to color the uh, top part a different color than the bottom part. But that's not possible at the moment because it's just one single piece of geometry. To split them apart what we have to do is to right click the object and go to edit geometry. And this opens up uh, the geometry view. And it also opens up this box where we can select different options. And for now, we want to go with the split object surfaces. So I pick that and click Next. And that brings up this dialog. And what you have to do is to select a piece of geometry or, or a piece on the model that you want to have as an object for itself. And Keyshot uses a splitting angle to define where to split the part. So right now we pick the top surface here and the splitting angle is at 45, which means that all this green stuff is going to be a part for itself and the gray part is going to be a part for itself. So we wanted to split up here and to do that we simply just dial the splitting angle down until it splits the surface. And that's actually not quite what we want. We want it to split here. So maybe if I pick here and you can see it's looking much better. We want the bottom part to be a part of this area as well so we by holding down command and clicking the two surfaces they will go together and this gray part will be a part for itself. And with this I click split object and we can now see that it's two different parts. Then click done and close the geometry view. And if you select this model again, you can see over here in the part tree that it's divided into two different geometries. And now we are able to give them two different materials. So we can have a matte black on the top and a glossy black down here. And that's all there that there is to it. It's quite simple when you just get the hang of it. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you learned something and please like and subscribe if you want to see more like this and if you want to help other just like you to discover this learning resource. Again thanks. <laughs>